Everybody knows Ferrari, Ferrari cars, right? Maybe you have never seen it on the road, maybe you did, but even if you did not, you probably have seen it on TV or in the movies and are familiar with the name. So, since I was traveling through this northern part of Italy, I did not want to pass an opportunity to see this Ferrari museum in Maranello. Ferraris are produced exclusively in Maranello, which has been the home of this world famous automaker since Enzo Ferrari, the founder, moved the factory there in 1943, though the first Ferrari car wasn't produced until 1947. A Ford, a Tesla or a Mercedes-Benz or most of the others will have many of its parts outsourced and mass-produced, but each Ferrari is made in the same place Ferraris have always been made here in the town of Maranello. And each Ferrari engine is hand-assembled to ensure the highest level of quality control. And how much does a Ferrari cost? Well, as they say, if you must ask, you cannot afford it. But I can tell you that usually the manufacturer's suggested retail price is mostly at least a quarter million US dollars, the least expensive one. And they make only about 10,000 cars per year, but in 2023, I think they produced about 12,000 of them, 12 or 13,000. Enzo Ferrari was born in 1898. Since childhood, he has been passionate about cars. In 1908, he went to the races on the Bologna circuit with his father and brother. Both will not live past the First World War. However, Enzo will. After a Spanish flu epidemic, he was soon dismissed from the front and during the post-war time, he set off for Turin, an industrial city in Italy. He started working as a tester at a small company and eventually he became a racing driver. In 1920, his 20-year collaboration with Alfa Romeo began, first as an official driver, then as director of the racing department. In 1939, in Modena, he founded a company called Auto Avio Costruzione, the ancestor of Ferrari, and moved it to Maranello in 1943, I think. Ferrari soon debuted in races, Formula One included, collected successes and its cars became synonymous with innovation and luxury handicraft. For his achievements, Enzo Ferrari received important titles and prizes, among which uh, are two honorary degrees in engineering at the University of Bologna and in physics at the University of Modena. The title of Knight of the Grand Cross, the Columbus Prize and Doug Hammarskjöld Prize for Social Sciences. The last project he took part in was the construction of the Galleria Ferrari of Maranello. Unfortunately, he passed away before the museum, this museum was completed. Enzo Ferrari died at the age of 90 on the 14th of August 1988, one year and a half before the Galleria Museum was inaugurated. Enzo Ferrari and Ingrid Bergman and Roberto Rossellini and Nino Farina. Car maker and the stars.
Alberto Ascari, 52-53, Juan Manuel Fangio, 56, and so on. Nicky Lauda, 75-77, and the great champ, Michael Schumacher, 2000-2001-2-3-4. They just have a huge number of the racing trophies, don't they? When tourists come to Italy, it is for the beaches, history, food, nature, maybe fashion, there are so many luxury brands, and not necessarily to see a museum like this one. It was, for me, a little bit unexpected when I saw how full the parking lot was, and actually I had to wait in line for some minutes before I could buy the ticket and get in. The museum itself is not huge, but large enough to learn about the man and his cars, even if you are not a racing car enthusiast. What also surprised me was that I would expect mostly men to be here, but there were also quite a few women in the audience. Ferraris are not only racing cars, but also a luxury brand and a status symbol, no doubt. So, if you want to buy a Ferrari, you better start feeding your piggy bank. Maybe, what about a one $100 bill per day? That is, if you want to buy it in your lifetime. So, enough kidding. I think this will be the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.